Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Jazikoff? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I like that my, my ghostly hand is so long. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Does your family go to church? Well, weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. I guess I just make a rough outline or something? Ooh, are these all part of one big one? Is this a single one? Contained? Ah, oh, it is. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... uh you remember the stories about the forest god? No? Uh, it was like a whole bunch of stories. There's this person, Adina, and... Oh, yeah, Adina in the Frozen Lake. Yeah, that's one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there. Liked shiny things, was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. <laughs> wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Ass Cat? <laughs> well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Decent. Extremely decent. <laughs> Just slipped out of their body and became immortal. That is amazing. Hmm. Is this all one big one, or is this a really small one? Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye. Looking at you. Okay, that's, uh... Uh, I know this one a little from, like, prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound. Usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not going to get rung to death by a bell. It's a whale. Yeah, it's got like the world on its back. Oh well. That's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, 
needs to be carrying something. I mean, whales are pretty big. But what's the whale swimming in? Space. I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah. Don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you. But I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um... My dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like... Um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Uh, my dad... Used to hit me a lot. And my mom was probably worse. She like... She like wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. She'd like shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers. So I could like signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused? Angus, it's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I... Ugh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know. But it saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But, anyway, yeah. No ghosts or god. So, like... I feel like if I'd been through that... I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Uh, well, so like the constellations, I, I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I uh, believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. 
and even if we don't mean to. So, I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern Finders I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Oh, uh, hmm. Um, there's a, there's a ghost on the right. But since we're ignoring that for the, for the moment, before we get into the ghostly, uh, happenings, I just want to say that that was really touching. Wow. We really didn't know much about Angus up until this point. Just that they had a bad childhood, they were the boyfriend of Angus, and they apparently have a really nice ass. But <laughs> now we know a whole lot more about them. They are an amazing person. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall? Wearing some kind of weird coat? Like a utility coat or something? Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person. Standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well? Don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there! Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did. May, no. I saw you. Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright. Christ, it's fast. Nobody can run that fast. That's definitely a ghost. Oh, you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from there. What is no... Whoa. Uh... Ah... Me? Ah... What's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? Ah, oh, my head! Jeez! Okay, well, let's get you home. No. Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. Thanks for, like, coming. Uh, again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? Hmm... 
there's a ghost following me. Like, it keeps showing up when we go out to, like, investigate it. Or all of those times it could have just been a random person. No, I can, like, feel it in my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? Yeah, I mean, this obviously is... This has to be something supernatural, given everything that we've seen. And the incredible speed at which that thing moves, and... Um, also the fact that it's definitely not just Mei that's seeing this, so it's not like Mei is hallucinating or anything. Other people are seeing it too. I mean, at this point, Angus just saw it, and then earlier at the uh, cemetery, uh, B saw it. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you, I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines, and you saw something that freaked you out, and makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently, and I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, oh, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, oh, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you. For believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering up there alone, at night. Close enough. Alright. Let's hunt some ghost. Hmm, so I just want to take a step back for a second. So, it looks like you just get to investigate two of the different, um, like, ghostly leads that you have from the- that you got from the library. Before it goes to, like, this point where everybody joins you. So I guess I've missed out on um, seeing that whatever like society building that Greg was going to take me to. Just interesting. I, I wonder what was there. Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. thought. Angus is psychic, but his hat blocks it. <laughs> How have I never been back up here? Fences work? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What does it be? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah. Let's go. I'm just admiring how they all follow me, sort of. <laughs> Forming this nice chain. Come with me, minions. Um, isn't this... We're going past the gate, right? I mean, past the fence that we originally saw the ghost taking somebody else to? Or through? Isn't this where the old mine is? 
but I'm sort of doubting myself because Greg didn't mention anything about the old mine. They just said what, whatever they said, animals and junk and stuff. Yeah, that looks like a minecart. Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this up, uh, all this back up in here? Ugh. What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So? It's out here in the dark. So old. So old. Dude. Hey, May. I'm fine. We should go. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. God, I'm getting that really dreadful feeling. Something horrible is going to happen. What the? Huh? Oh my god. No. No. Ah, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys. Ah, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Blair, if you knew this was going to happen. You knew it the moment you screw this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Cause of you, God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. His leg's stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but I got family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't got to worry about Jeannie and the girls. Genie, Jenny, and the girls? Doesn't ring a bell. They'll be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Aw, oh, hell. Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. Dave, Rick, Benny. I feel like I should be writing these names down or something. Dave, Rick, Benny. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. No! Hold him still. Hold still, it's going to be easier if... All right, he's free. Lerv. Lerv, and no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish. And... Ah, hell. Let's get this over with. We should just make this easy, Lerv. Oh, God, his bone's sticking out. The hell? Shit. May? May Borowski? Oh, oh, they've, they've spotted us. Um, hmm. Run! Uh... S 
Oh, this is like a... Oh, I see. This is like a run and jump over things thing. I'm actually in control here. the end of everything? Nice. Nice. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. What's like riding a bike? I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like to go over the plots of books I've read. Oh, look at the smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. Alright, well. Oh. Oh. I'm... I'm in control? Of B? Okay, let's just pause for a second. Everything we've seen before made them look like ghosts, especially the speed at which they moved. And their seeming ability to pass through things, but... That just seemed... that did, that seemed very unghostly. It seemed like some sort of secret society. I mean, they're calling each other, like, Dave and stuff. And you could obviously see their feet. They didn't look like ghosts, and there's a bunch of them. I don't know what the hell that was. Also, I don't know what the hell this is. Is this like some time after May went missing or something? I, I, I'm assuming May got captured. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. He'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is. A uh, big guy, dirty coat, or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Getting dark earlier. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Oh wait, do we like? Did we like capture one of them? Is that what's going on? Who's May though? Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And... Yeah? Maybe lasagna. Lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's gotta take care of you. Thanks, Anki. You're extremely good. Aw, oh, no more than anyone else. So, that guy you saw at the woods in Possum Jump. Yep. Are those guys like that guy? Yep, sorta. He had a hat. Hmm. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? I think Angie's focusing on something that makes them comfortable. So they don't have to deal with whatever's going on. So, no word from her parents. Nope. Did you leave a message? Yep. Okay, so May is missing. This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to, like, half the bands on it. We're going to see the Blink Tones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. I'm also thinking, could I have avoided May being captured? Because I messed up twice. 
at the beginning when I didn't realize I was even in control while I was running. And then at the very end, I, uh, I hit a rock. But it didn't look like they were super close to me. I don't feel like they were super close to me. I don't know. I mean, either way, it's definitely not like a failure state or anything like that. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. It was a stressful time. Senior year. I remember. Sorry about your mom. Thanks. Oh, I hear a noise coming from the right. I think we did capture one of them. I'm so tired. I could, like, curl up on their bed. There's, like, a whole living area under there. Where was that noise coming from? It sounds like somebody's struggling. Are they in an attic or something? I don't know. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, m Wait, everybody shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. Oh, so I think May did get away. Looks like they maybe fell off this hill and passed out until morning. Now it's light and it was dark when we were running. I wonder if this is going to meet up with the scene that we just cut from. Like, maybe I'm going to play May until we get to the door. And then it'll be May. I hope. I hope it'll be May. <laughs> Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. This is getting so freaking interesting. I wasn't expecting these twists and turns. I love this game. Um... Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.